Quebec City was founded in 1608 in a strategic location between the foot and top of Cape Diamond. It is divided into two distinct districts, Lower Town, grouped around Place Royale, and the Upper Town, characterized by its ramparts. The year 1690 marked the beginning of the construction of a series of wooden palisades, later replaced by masonry structures. Evolving over time and with the city's development, the fortifications of Quebec are recognized as the cornerstone of the historic district of Old Quebec, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. However, time and weather have left their mark. Inspections revealed that large sections of the fortifications require restoration work. In 2014, Parks Canada began a restoration process that resulted in the rehabilitation of 40% of the 4.6-kilometer network of fortifications. The walls were dismantled stone by stone. Each one was photographed and numbered to preserve the initial layout and retain as much of the original material as possible. These materials, along with traditional building skills and techniques, were used throughout the process. Only the stones that could not be preserved were replaced. This approach to heritage preservation has been applied to the restoration of several other structures, including Artillery Park. Carved into the rising terrain, Dauphine Redoubt is one of Canada's oldest and largest military buildings. Since its construction in 1712, the Redoubt has been exposed to harsh weather conditions. A succession of freeze-thaw cycles caused cracks in the masonry of the walls and buttresses. A large part of the masonry structure was dismantled, reassembled, repointed and plastered, restoring the building to its original appearance. In the officer's mess, carpenters cut new windows into the walls following the original 1768 design. The removal of an old exhibit allowed for the presentation of new artifacts and the restoration of a portion of the anteroom that had disappeared in the old design. The officers' quarters, adjacent to the Dauphine Redoubt, was also restored. Water infiltration in the surrounding structures had led to its closure to the public. Thanks to the restoration of the roof, exterior walls, structure, wall tapestries and interior finishes, as well as the reinstallation of the furniture and objects, visitors are immersed in the life of an officer's family in the 19th century. Outside. Contemporary landscaping creates a space where residents and visitors can relax and reminisce about Quebec City's military past. The cannons and shooting gallery at Montmorency Park National Historic Site were of great strategic importance to the defense of Quebec City. Established in 1623, the site has also been used as a cemetery, as a seat of religious and civil power, and finally, as an urban park. The redevelopment of the site has restored access to the shooting gallery, which had disappeared. Visitors can now admire the lower town's expanse before them through the restored loopholes and fully appreciate the strategic importance of this site in the defense of the city. The planned restoration work at the West Ravelin Counterscarp involved the removal of the vegetation that had covered the area. This provided an opportunity to restore the cultural landscape of the West Ravelin Counterscarp. The cut glacis, with its angled stones, was reintroduced into the landscape, improving the understanding of Quebec City's defense system. Built in 1846, Case May 24 was the first building of its time designed to protect the fortifications and soldiers from attacks on the citadel. Water infiltration had weakened the structure of the exterior masonry vaults. By repairing the vaults and latrines, reinstalling a carronade in an embrasure, restoring the stew oven where the soldiers' food was cooked, Casemate 24 regained its former appearance and opened its doors to visitors. Thanks to the cooperation of the local citizens and Parks Canada's partners during the restoration work at the fortifications of Quebec National Historic Site, this work will allow present and future generations to discover this UNESCO World Heritage Site.